The world of technology is changing fast. For decades, the United States was the clear leader. American companies drove innovation. They created the digital age we live in. Think about Silicon Valley. It was the hub of global tech dreams, but the ground beneath our feet has shifted. Today, in 2025, a new reality is taking shape. We are seeing a major transfer of technological power. A new giant stands on the world stage. That giant is China. It has risen with incredible speed. China is now leading in a majority of critical and emerging technologies. This transformation did not happen overnight. It is the result of deliberate strategy and immense effort. Understanding these factors is vital to grasp the new global power dynamics. For a long time, many in the West saw China as the world's factory, a place that could make things cheaply, a place that was good at copying Western designs. The label made in China often meant imitation, not innovation. Few believed China could become a genuine technological powerhouse. That skepticism was profoundly mistaken. China today is an innovation engine. The government has played a huge role in this transformation. It launched ambitious national plans and poured staggering sums into R&D. China cleverly reinvested its vast trade surpluses into science and technology. This sustained investment has built a formidable R&D ecosystem. China is now producing a torrent of original research. It files more patents than any other country. This is the bedrock of China's tech rise. The results of China's innovation drive are clear. Take artificial intelligence or AI for example. AI is set to revolutionize everything from healthcare to transportation. China has declared its ambition to be the world leader in AI by 2030. Chinese companies are pioneers in facial recognition, smart cities and AI-powered logistics. Consider the field of space exploration. China is now a major space power with its own space station, Tiangong. It has successfully landed rovers on the moon and Mars. Biotechnology is another area where China is making huge strides. Chinese firms are becoming leaders in gene editing and new drug development. Then there is clean energy technology. China manufactures the vast majority of the world's solar panels and dominates battery production for electric vehicles. This leadership in green tech is critical for the planet. China's tech ambitions do not stop at its own borders. A key part of its global strategy involves the Global South. This term refers to developing nations in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. China has systematically cultivated relationships with these countries. It has positioned itself as a partner in their development. The most visible part of this strategy is the Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI. Launched over a decade ago, the BRI is one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in history. China has funded and built roads, railways, ports and energy pipelines across dozens of countries. But the BRI is not just about concrete and steel, it is also about digital infrastructure. China has helped build data centers and fiber optic networks. These investments are often framed as mutually beneficial. However, they tie recipient countries closer to China, both economically and technologically. This engagement gives China significant leverage. China's influence in the Global South extends beyond big infrastructure projects. It is also about consumer technology, which has become an integral part of daily life. Chinese tech companies have been incredibly successful in these emerging markets, capturing the attention and wallets of millions. Think about the smartphone in your pocket. If you live in many parts of Asia, Africa, or Latin America, it is likely a product of Chinese innovation. There is a good chance it is made by a Chinese brand, known for their affordability and advanced features. Companies like Xiaomi, Oppo, and Tranchin have captured huge market shares, becoming dominant players in these regions. These companies offer products that are well suited to local needs, understanding the unique demands of these diverse markets. They are often more affordable than Western or South Korean alternatives, making them accessible to a broader audience. They come packed with features that appeal to consumers in these regions, from high-quality cameras to long battery life. This combination of price and performance has proven irresistible, leading to widespread adoption. Chinese brands have become household names synonymous with reliability and innovation. It is not just smartphones that are making waves. Chinese electric vehicles or EVs are also gaining traction in developing countries, offering sustainable and affordable transportation options. Chinese tech giants have been instrumental in building out mobile networks, ensuring connectivity in even the most remote areas. This deep integration gives China a powerful and lasting presence, 
shaping the technological landscape of the global south for years to come. There is a common misconception about China's economy. Many believe it is entirely a top-down system, that the government dictates every move. While state direction plays a significant role, especially in strategic sectors, this view misses a crucial part of the picture. China's domestic market is incredibly competitive. Think of it as a modern-day gladiator arena. Hundreds, sometimes thousands of companies battle for survival and supremacy. This is especially true in new and fast-growing tech sectors. The competition is relentless. Margins can be thin. Only the most innovative, efficient, and adaptable companies thrive. This intense internal pressure is a powerful driver of progress. The survivors of this brutal domestic competition emerge as hardened champions. This competitive fire within China's borders forges companies that are agile, resilient, and fiercely ambitious. The electric vehicle market offers a perfect example of China's competitive crucible. A decade ago, the global EV landscape looked very different. Tesla was the undisputed pioneer, but China saw the strategic importance of EVs early on. The government offered subsidies and incentives. This sparked a massive wave of investment and company formation. Hundreds of EV startups emerged. This led to a period of intense, almost chaotic competition. Many of these new companies did not survive. But the ones that did, like BYD, NIO and Xpeng became incredibly strong. They had to innovate on battery technology, software and manufacturing processes just to stay alive. Today BYD sells more electric vehicles globally than Tesla. Chinese EVs are known for their advanced features, stylish designs and competitive pricing. This success shows how the intense competition within China has produced world-class companies. China's fourth secret weapon is its sheer size. With a population of over 1.4 billion people, it possesses an enormous domestic market that is constantly growing and evolving. This is an advantage that few countries can match, providing a unique landscape for businesses to thrive. For Chinese tech companies, this massive internal market provides a unique springboard, allowing them to innovate and scale rapidly. They can develop, test, and refine their products and services at a scale that is unimaginable in smaller nations, giving them a competitive edge. Imagine launching a new app or a new gadget in such a vast market. In China, even a niche product can find millions of users, creating opportunities that are hard to find elsewhere. This allows companies to achieve economies of scale quickly, reducing costs, and increasing efficiency. It means they can gather vast amounts of data, which is crucial for continuous improvement. This data, in turn, fuels AI algorithms and helps improve products at an accelerated pace, making them more competitive globally. A product that succeeds in China already has a massive user base and significant revenue, setting the stage for international expansion. This large domestic market also acts as a powerful magnet for innovation, attracting talent and investment. It reduces the risk for entrepreneurs, providing a fertile ground for new ideas to flourish. This inherently strengthens China's position in the global tech ecosystem, making it a key player on the world stage. China's ascent to the top tier of global technology is not a fluke. It is a result of meticulous planning and relentless effort. It is built on a foundation of strategic R&D investment and a massive talent pool, with universities and research institutions churning out top-notch scientists and engineers. It is fueled by shrewd engagement with the global south, forming alliances and partnerships that extend China's influence and technological reach. It is sharpened by an intensely competitive domestic market, where innovation is not just encouraged, but necessary for survival. And it is amplified by the unparalleled scale of its population, providing a vast user base for new technologies and a constant stream of data to refine them. These factors have reshaped the tech landscape, creating an ecosystem where rapid development and deployment of new technologies are the norms. The United States and other Western nations are now grappling with this new reality, trying to understand and adapt to the shifting dynamics. China's tech dominance in 64 critical areas presents both challenges and opportunities, forcing a re-evaluation of global strategies. The implications for global power dynamics, for economic competition and for technological standards are profound, affecting everything from trade policies to national security. We are living through a period of significant transition where the old paradigms are being questioned and new ones are emerging. 
The old order is giving way to something new, a world where technology is the primary driver of change and progress. The question now is how the world responds. Will it be through competition and conflict, or through cooperation and mutual benefit? One path is increased rivalry and confrontation, leading to a fragmented and potentially hostile global environment. But there might be another way, a path that emphasizes collaboration, where interests align, fostering a more interconnected and harmonious world. A path that emphasizes collaboration, where interests align, leveraging the strengths of different nations to achieve common goals. The future of technology and indeed the future of our world may depend on finding that balance, creating a global community that thrives on shared innovation and progress.